The YouTube Gaming Video Guide is available now. Use this fantastic learning resource to learn everything you need to know about making YouTube videos, including how to capture your footage, 3D modeling, visual effects composition, video editing, commentary and audio recording, and more. There is a discount coupon in the description of this video, so grab your copy of the guide right now. How's it going guys, it's the final render here and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Building with Mods and in this video we are going to be recovering from the Croatian Club controversy and starting to make a mod which can be used by everyone for free. How about that people? And the mod we are going to be making is a restored and buildable version of the Prost Bar. Now the Prost Bar is a location that is right next to Swan's Pond and this is actually based off of the bar from the 70s and 80s sitcom Cheers. Now interestingly, I've had a lot of people leave comments saying, do a recreation of the bar from Cheers. And I thought, that's a really weird scenario. But it actually makes sense because there is an exact recreation of it in Fallout 4 with it being set in Boston and all. Well apparently I've never seen the show. But here is the Prost Bar, Prost being German for Cheers. And as you can see, it has definitely seen some better days. It's not in too bad a condition considering most of the walls are actually intact, which is actually a bit of an interesting thing in Fallout 4. However, the floors are dirty, we definitely need to get a broom down here, and we definitely need to get rid of some of these guys who have been sitting here for about 250 years. They never leave this place. But it is an absolutely fantastic location and you know me, I love doing interiors and redecorating them and restoring them back to modern times. And in this video we are going to be doing it and we are going to make it buildable and scrappable so you guys can turn it into your very own luxury pad should you want to. Alright, so let's go. Jumping into the creation kit straight away we're going to take a look at this place and oh dear oh dear oh dear it's a wreck. But once we start to actually clear up all of the rubbish on the floor it already starts to look a little bit better. But there is an awful lot of rubbish here as you can see. In fact I'm willing to say there's more rubbish in here than there is actually broken material which is very unusual indeed. And I actually spent a very long time swapping all of the materials to go ahead and be pre-war and restored. And I've shown you guys how to do this before. In fact, I've actually got a tutorial video on it. And there's something I really enjoy about doing this. It's something that is just so relaxing, you know. You can pull up YouTube, pull up a music playlist, or pull up your favourite Let's Play by a guy called Final Render or someone else like that. And you can just enjoy making something in the Fallout 4 creation kit while chilling out. And this location is really, really good for that as well, since it has all of the clean variants in the materials. And I really needed to work with the lighting in this place. And in fact, in this video, I have been working an awful lot on trying to get a really good new EMB setup. So I really hope it shows in this video, and I've paid more attention to lighting in this than I have in any other build video before. Normally when it comes to the lighting, it's normally an afterthought, you know, I just kind of think, well let's light it, try to get some nice shadows if possible, but in this case I thought, let's actually try to make the light a bit of a character in this place. So there's lots of gobos everywhere, there's lots of shadows in interesting corners and stuff, and I think it looks really, really good, especially with the kind of high contrast, high saturation look which I was able to give this place. And as I said, of course, once the place is fully done, it's probably taken about two days straight of non-stop swapping materials and swapping things to be scrappable, making them go ahead and be the pre-war versions. No joke, it has taken about two days to do this. All day, pretty much, so it's taken a very long time. And here it is now, completely done. Wow. What a difference just a few hours of difference can make. I swear to you guys, this is one of my favourite interior places I have ever done. And as I said, it is completely scrappable and it is completely buildable. Now you guys may remember in the last video I did of this at the bunker, which again, I kind of restored it to be normal. It didn't actually work for the PlayStation 4 downloads. However, I might have got it to work. I actually have ordered a copy of Fallout 4 on PlayStation 4. That should be arriving in a few days so I can test mods like this in future. But let me know if it works on PlayStation 4. But besides that, let's just take a look at this place. It looks absolutely astounding. When you actually get all these new materials and everything repaired, it looks really, really good. But at the same time, I didn't want to replace everything, you know. I still wanted all the paintings and stuff to still look a bit old and stuff. Because if you think about it, there's no windows down here. 
and there's no way to get in through besides the front door, so this place wouldn't actually be affected too much unless there was an actual hole in the ceiling or something like that, but everything looks great. The main area has been done, the office has been done, the toilet has been done, and the pool area here at the back looks really, really good. It's very secluded, and as I said, it's been a long time trying to build a little character with lights and stuff in this place, and kept a lot of the fog, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks like something you would see in like a film noir. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to download this settlement on all of your systems that you please. And remember to subscribe if you are new. This has been the final render with Fallout 4 building with mods. We do videos like this all the time and it is great fun to see you watching. See you around for now. The YouTube Gaming Video Guide is available now. Use this fantastic learning resource to learn everything you need to know about making YouTube videos, including how to capture your footage, 3D modeling, visual effects composition, video editing, commentary and audio recording, and more. There is a discount coupon in the description of this video, so grab your copy of the guide right now.